330 bucks a week. They were taking half my money, and I was I was still going backwards. <laughs> After all of that, I was still going backwards, and I was on the verge of committing suicide. Um, and uh, it was just, you know, you get, you get so many things falling around that you just you just feel hopeless. There has to be a better way. There's no way I'm going to pay down this debt. I knew $102,284.74. That's what I needed to pay off because I'm so sick and tired of this money following me around. Stuffing vending machines 12 hours a day. I did not have a car. I was up 3.30 in the morning, I'd walk an hour, and I, you can't script this, this is my real life. I know I want to pay it off, but I didn't have any direction. It wasn't for constantly getting around good information, I, I, wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have survived. I, the one time I actually sat down, rolled it out, and came up with that number is when I made the decision to pay it off, and in nine months, I ended up paying it off. Once I separated time from money was the biggest Thing for me. He's found a way to take what he loves to do with his message value, how he serves the world, and he's been able to put it in a format that allows him to do it while he sleeps. So if you're watching this, whatever situation you're in, there's a better way of doing business. You just have to trust the process and keep going.